Hello everyone and welcome to this worksheet about Ireland where you have to fill in the gaps with verbs and we have a list of verbs here at the top they are present simple verbs so verbs used for repeated events or for general facts and the verbs we have here are are is drink eat enjoy has and speak this is a little quiz here and it's about facts to do with Ireland so I hope you find it interesting one Ireland an island in the northwest of Europe what do you think goes there what verb that's right Ireland is an island in the northwest of Europe two the climate what do you think is that's right the climate is wet and mild so wet rains a lot here it rains a lot more so in the west of Ireland over here these counties here Donegal Mayo Galway Kerry tends to rain more there we live on the east coast and it's more sunnier but all of Ireland is mild what we mean by that is it's neither too hot or too cold right about the middle it's mild usually three it a lot of beaches and a few mountains it has a lot of beaches and a few mountains so we have a beach nearby to us here uh, i hope you can go down for a walk and enjoy it and mountains we have mountains in wicklow and kerry and donegal and here as well you can see them here, these are the Morn Mountains. Number four, it. What verb goes in there? It has. It has a population. A population means all the people in a particular area. All the people. It has a population of about five million people. Quite a small population. I wonder what the population of your country is. Five, the capital city, so that's the main city in a country, is called Dublin. Number six, most people speak, most people speak English as their first language. So that's the language they learned from their mother so it's often called their mother tongue and most people in ireland speak english as their mother tongue or their first language but some people speak irish as their first language so there are areas in ireland called gaeltacht that's g a e l t a c h t s and in those small areas people speak Irish as their first language. Let's see if I have a picture of a Gaeltacht. These are the Gaeltachts in Ireland. So you see these small areas here where their mother tongue or their first language is Irish. Gaeltachts. Number eight. The Irish eat a lot of potatoes and butter so we like to eat potatoes and butter a lot nine the irish drink the irish drink a lot of tea so we're famous for drinking tea at every occasion happy sad or even no reason whatsoever we drink tea is it the same in the country where you were from maybe it's coffee instead of tea 10. The biggest industries, this is plural, so it's R. The biggest industries are computers and tourism. Another big industry is pharmaceuticals. We make a lot of medicines and things to do with medical equipment in Ireland as well. 11. Ireland has been independent since 1922 has been independent so england used to rule 
over Ireland in the past, but not since 1922. So this is 2020. In two years' time, we'll be celebrating 100 years of independence from England. So it's not that long, really. 12. The national holiday is on St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th of March. And on that day, there are many parades in all the towns, or most of the towns in Ireland, containing floats, which are displays on trailers on the back of lorries, um, demonstrating different organisations. So it's a good fun day to go and watch the parade. Also, we wear shamrock, which is a small plant, to commemorate or remember St. Patrick. 13. There are, it's plural, there are other holidays at Christmas, Easter and Halloween. So when are those holidays? Christmas is the 25th of December. Halloween is the 31st of October. And Easter, Easter moves around a bit. It's what we call a moving feast. Usually around about springtime, uh, April. But it varies from year to year. 14. The Irish, oh, well, we'll go in there, enjoy or like. The Irish enjoy meeting friends in the pub and talking. We love to talk. 15. And the last one. Ireland is famous for its writers, such as James Joyce, Samuel Beckett, Oscar Wilde, and W.B. Yeats. So we have won some um, Nobel Prizes for Literature. Samuel Beckett and W.B. Yeats have won the Nobel Prize for Literature. W.B. Yeats wrote poems. Let's see if we can find a poem here. So this is a little poem by W.B. Yeats. I'll read it out to you. It's called The Clots of Heaven. Had I the heavens embroidered clots, inwrought with golden and silver light, the blue and the dim and the dark clots of night and light and the half light, I would spread the clots under your feet, but I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. What did you think of that? Did you enjoy that? So send me back any famous poets from your country. Oscar Wilde is famous for his sayings. So he has some famous quotes. One I can remember is, be yourself, because everyone else is taken. I like that one. Or, we are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. Do you know what the gutter is? The gutter is beside, it's at the end of a road, the side of a road, where the water runoff usually flows. It's considered a dirty place. So he says, we are all in the gutter. But some of us are looking at the stars. OK, so if you could fill in the gaps there and send that back to me, that would be great. Thank you. Bye.